Alrighty, let's check this out. Okay, when you do something like that in terms of stepped, I'd be very careful when you have moments like these. Like that is an incredible oversimplification of the action. So this is going to take a lot longer. So your shot will also be a lot longer. Like same thing with this. You really have to give the, the information in a few stepped breakdowns of how is the character getting up, what is leading what, and so on. And especially with this, if that's a fast move, then the character will be off balance now, which it already is to some degree. And then you're going to have to take a step back. And is there going to be a step back to end here or then a step forward to end here? So there's a lot of information missing. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, though. So you have a swipe to the right. Careful because there's no anticipation there. It feels a bit kind of, eh, eh, let's go. Versus, you know, let's go up and frown, get into this turns but then what happens is that a full turn to end up here or is it then a reversal to get back to this and then take a step to the right or are we now pirating around this is not super clear again it's just there's the lack of breakdowns in this and I'm, it's going to be the same thing in all the views so let's see yeah, it gets a bit confusing as to what's going on there. And then careful, you know, when you have something that's like almost like a mirror pose, but just almost flipped. I think as an idea, it's cool because you got stuff going on there in terms of complex turns, I'm assuming there. And then a swipe, careful that we're not doing the same there. Okay, so this is just, a, just this is like a beginning twirl that goes into that swipe. Big confused there. Then we have that and then goes back and then back to somewhat the same ready stance. Yeah, so that's kind of the same throughout regardless of uh, the views. And actually what would be awesome is if you could break these up um, and have instead of three movies, one movie with all three in there. And if you have like, you know, a perspective mode, that's your main one. And then you put one here, one here, however you want to present it, that's totally fine. But it helps to have it all in one um, mainly once you're in like blocking plus um, mode where I can look at more details. Like, this is so rough at this point. So it's just like the other one that there needs to be a lot more information to get more out of this. Again, it's slightly confusing as to what is going on through that beginning section. But yeah, I like the idea though. And then we have, that's the fall. Cool, hold on. So character is going, taking a left step. Careful how far you twist while this leg is not doing anything. Like if you're going this far back, then it's inclination of bringing at least that knee in or taking a step over. Because I don't know if that's, that seems like the character just comes back. And then falls. And careful with this, once we're here, you can draw a straight line just forget the arrow it's just a straight line and then as it falls you can see it just follows that axis so you want to do something where the character might go oh, and, then, and it could be you know leaning a bit more here and then as it buckles maybe one knee buckles first which then makes the character fall this way or how or however you want to do it so it's not one axis it's a bit more complex so that drop will then be you know, landing here or landing here, however you want to do it. And same thing with this drop, so that when you drop and you go back up, you don't want to go back up in the same axis again. It would fall and do this kind of thing and then land. Now, I'm not quite sure what that is. Again, this almost seems like an impact. Imagine something shoots the creature here. Boom! And then it goes back. And then it comes back into... Oh, boom. Is that what's happening? I'm just not quite sure what this means. Again, it's the lack of breakdowns where we, we're having such huge moves. And I'm not quite sure what is going on in between and what is motivating, especially that big move. And then let me see. They seem to be the same, right? Those arms. Yeah. Every now and then it seems like this is bigger than this. But that, that's just the angle, I guess, huh? Is it though? Probably. Yeah, they seem very similar. Anyway, yeah, I would say 
the ideas are there. Just look for complexity in the movement. But in whatever you do, you have to have more breakdowns to get more of the timing, but also more of the intent across, especially in something like this. Like I said before, I don't know what that means. Is there like an invasive move? Did it get hit? And there's a lot of it kind of stuck within this area where the feet are sliding around a lot or kind of staying within the same place. And uh, I'd be okay in opening up things where the character starts here and ends here. You know, unless you really want it to be confined in one space and almost loop to some degree. I mean, not this. You couldn't loop this, but um, if it's just if it's just a physical binary mechanics action, then you could also just give this a bit more room, right? So if he goes here and goes, Bow! that would be again here. He might lean back from whatever this is to take a step back. So then at the end, this character would be here, and then could still fall to the right. And bam, end up here again, but the feet here. So you're still kind of within that box, but within that, you still move around for more complexity. It's kind of more of an organic feel. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.